Okay, this is a tutorial on how to use the program OffCrack to crack a hashed password and get to the password, right? And to do this, what you're going to need to do is down the program OffCrack, and you can do that. I've got their web page here. Um, the web page is, let's see here, objective dash security dot ch or just do a search for off crack and you'll find um, the website and I've got two special pages here this one um, under products I have a link to this on my website you can submit a um, hash here or submit a password and get a hash right so let's do that right now I'm going to open up notepad and so I have that open right and I'll just say Here's the um, password, like hard core, right? There we go, there's that. And I'll just submit the password, right? And then I get the hash. So there's my hash. I'll copy that and I'll paste it into Notepad. All right, let's get another one. On my website, I have another hash list. If you go to danscourses.com, and I have this page right here, how to crack a Windows password with off crack. And I put a hash here that you could just copy and paste from my website. Um, so I'm just going to copy that. Control C. And I'll just paste it in here. Okay, so there's two hashes that we want to crack, right? So, and we were able to um, hash those passwords just from the off crack website. And I have the link to this page, right? All right, next thing you're going to need to make this work is not only the program off crack, which is right here, but you're also going to need to have the rainbow tables that you can download also from off crack. And I have the link here. It's offcrack.sourceforge.net forward slash tables.php. And you can see here that they have tables that you can download. Now, these are pretty big. I mean, um, you've got, uh, this one's seven gigabytes, right? So these rainbow hash tables, what they are is basically hashes of <laughs> every known password that you could think of, right? Every, as many combinations that are possible with different um, character sets, right? And you can see here, you know, whether they have special characters, whether they have mixed alphanumericals. And so here's the Vista Free and the Vista Special and the Vista Numeric, and you can see that they're, they're pretty big, right? This one's 134 gigabytes. This one's 52 gigabytes, right? So I'd like to download some of these, but I'm, I don't really have time to download this 36 gigabyte file, and I have a very slow internet connection. But you could, right? And it has a dollar sign on it. That means it probably costs money, right? So, um, but these you can download for free. And so I downloaded a couple for free, uh, this one, a uh, couple of them, and I installed them onto my system. Now, when you download them, they're going to download as a zipped file, and you're going to need to put them on a folder on your computer. So, on my C drive, I've got it, I made a folder called Hash Tables, and in there I have the zip, right? Look at it, it's 400 uh, megabytes big, and then I unzipped it in here, and this is my Vista free table, right? Then in this XP folder, I had the XP free small one, and this is 362 uh, megabytes, and I unzipped this in here, right? So I have two folders um, with these rainbow tables, hash tables, unzipped in here. Now, to load them into OffCrack, you open the program, right? You click on Tables, and here are the tables that are, you know, uh, built in, but some are installed, and some, there's my two that are installed, right? So if you wanted to install one, what you do is you click install, and then you just pick the folder where they're located, right? And then click OK, and then it will see them, and it'll install them and activate them. And so that's, that's right there. Now, um, all right, so I'll just close that. And when they're installed correctly, you'll see them down here. And you can see green light, green is go. You can open this up. There's the different tables that are there, right? And now it's time to uh, try to crack a hash. So let's take the second one first, because I know that works. And I'll just take that and copy it, right? And then I'm going to say load single hash. 
I'm going to paste the hash in here. I'll click OK. Right, and there's the hash, right? And then just click, um, I'll select it, and I'll hit crack. And now it's going to go through these rainbow tables and see if it can find a match for this hash with the ones in the rainbow tables and try to um, basically crack the hash or reveal the password that created the hash in the first place. So we'll see how this works or how long it takes. Right, so here is 24 seconds, 27, 27. OK, and there it is. It was able to crack the hash, and there's the password. Block me, right? Um, notice how it took the LM hash or the LM uh, password file, all capitals right here, block me, right? There's LM1 and LM2 and the NT password. So these are, you know, essentially Windows passwords. Um, all right, let's try the other one. And we'll. Alright, we'll copy that and load single hash, paste it in here, click OK, and click crack. And there it goes. And you'll see, you can see that this takes on this LM password one picked up the first part of the um, password and picked up the the characters hardcore and then the second part picked up the E right um, and then together the the full NT password is hardcore right so characters one through seven here and then the eighth character right here okay that worked.